So a quick rundown with some uh, props to show why this is cracked differently. This is normally where we'd see the crack on something like an E46 M3, anything that was built after February 2000, because it doesn't have those vertical spot welds. And if you're wondering why it's cracked across here, because not many people would have ever seen one crack across there, it was very early cars, 98, 99, 2000 model cars that used to crack like this. I've got a representation down here of all the different generations of the RACP internals. I don't think a video has ever been done about this, so I've done some highlights, drawings to show what the differences are. There's four differences on the RACPs over the years. The very first internal threaded receivers that were out in about 98, 99 were just completely circular and had three MIG welds at the very top and then five spot welds underneath to hold it together. They used to break quite spectacularly. I've seen cars without what we call the rear wings. So then later on, sometime, I don't know the exact date, but 98, 99, they introduced rear wings, which are these little pieces just here, which had MIG welds holding it on to the internal threaded receiver, uh, holding it to the cavity cover panel part of the RACP. All this is completely hidden internally because we've done dissecting of these panels and so much work over the last 11 years, we get to know the intricate differences between them. Then February 2000 is when they added front wings, which are these little pieces up here. So then they changed the shape quite dramatically, widened it to stabilize it, and then they put two spot welds on in a vertical line, which normally go just about there and there. And then that helps quite a lot. That stopped them completely splitting and falling out straight through the underside, which is what this one's doing. And that's because this one that we see is this version here. Um, and then later on, so uh, then October 2004 built cars had then this version, but with an additional plastic brace. That's what it looks like. It's an internal bonded brace. I don't know if it's 3D printed, but it's an amazingly well molded system, which is an exact internal copy dimensionally of the uh, cavity cover panel inside the RACP and they bonded it together with this blue so it changed the hollow section to a solid section and that's because they just kept moving the problem. The early ones they cracked straight through the middle and then this threaded receiver dropped out through the bottom. These ones did exactly the same. Then once they added these front and rear wings that stabilized things and it stopped them dropping through the bottom but it caused cracks elsewhere. It moved the load energy further along so it then used to make them crack next to the threaded receiver which is just that area just there that's the traditional cracks that we see and then they thought well to improve that and stop that from happening we'll just brace that area up and put a, th a plastic bonded block inside which genuinely does help there hasn't been many times where we've seen October 2004 built vehicles that have had cracks on the left rear mounting point but those stresses and energies are pushed elsewhere through the car and then you find them crack on the right hand side of the vehicle which has got no internal brakes that was only for the left hand side and it's worth noting as well that if the car has had a panel replacement a BMW Goodwill or warranty replacement panel and even if you buy the panel today ending in 246 it comes as this version which is the latest generation, which comes with the left rear plastic block. So there we go, there's a rundown on all the different generations of the E46 RACP. There is one earlier version as well, which was only known as a repair panel. It got taken off the parts catalog very early on, but it was basically, you used to be able to buy, instead of having to buy the entire RACP, which is the front line there, there's the rear line there. You used to be able to buy just the rear half of it, much like an E36 RACP where it was in two sections. The parts catalog, it's still on there today. If you go on BMW fans or real OEM, you'll see the picture of it. You'll see a picture of an entire RACP and then you'll also see a picture of a rear section of an RACP. That was a repair panel. It was never came out as a factory piece. BMW used to sell it, but they soon took it off the catalogue and only sell it as one piece. But simply, you, you would have to do an overlap joint. And they got rid of that idea really early on. So I haven't included it in the video because it wasn't ever a factory item. It was just a repair panel that never made it into the parts scheme. But there we go. That's the four different generations of E46 RACP internal design at the rear.